Welcome to today's two days of gains. So we're going to get into a little bit of Bitcoin TEF and the market and who MTT is. So welcome to today's call. Uh, we are part of the Bitcoin TEF community. Uh, with who offers training and ed education since 2016. If you go here to the bottom of the screen, you'll see the company that's Marius Landman and Wendy started in 2016, only had the Bitcoin trend and forecast long-term trade reports. And since then it expanded into all the other products, hot or not, it was Trendzig. Then Nico came out and took over and converted it to day trade masters. Uh, we were small pick cap begins that was transitioned into into MTT, which is medium term trade reports. And all of these different products has got a different kind of customer and niche that you want to go find yourself in to say, what kind of, kind of a trader am I? Do you want to sit in the computer the whole day? Or you want to take a position and you don't want to look at your trade again because you're busy at work? Or are you one that want to get into a position uh, where with MTT and you hold it for a period of a cycle of a seven to 45 day cycle of where MTT trades, and then you actually can make your profits in that duration and where we set a specific uh, sell and uh, buy profit areas where you can take advantage of that. So just to quickly show you of who MTT is, is we say we're the only uh, product you really need to skyrocket your crypto portfolio. That's medium term crypto trade reports. The team consists of myself, Marius and Ryan. Mar uh, Marius is unfortunately not here at the moment today. They were at the Crypto Fest the weekend and he should be on the call, I believe tomorrow morning to take us through the algorithm analysis. He's a specialist when it comes to all the MHGO uh, algorithm that we use in MTT as well, along with his own algorithms in the long-term trade reports. So the perfect sweet spot for a customer with MTT is someone that doesn't have the time um, always to have a look at what the market is doing, but they want consistency in getting a report where we cover the market two to three times a week for the customers and for our members, where we do on a Monday and a Tuesday, you get a full overview of the crypto market, a lot of the good coin setups that we follow. And on Wednesdays, we do a webinar, a live webinar, where the customers or the members can engage in, and we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. They can ask any questions. And then over the weekend, we do a, a report, which is lately that we find works quite well, is another pre-recording, about a, a 20 to 30 minute recording where the members can also see what's going on in the market. So that's the sort of customer, you, you're not sitting in front of your computer the whole time, uh, but you want these regular updates in the crypto market where there's someone that's screening, having the due diligence, screening through the charts and specific coin setups and see where's important cycles and pivotal dates. And through all of that, you can still skyrocket your portfolio. So where we focus on is we specialize in all the NFT, the gaming, DAOs, metaverse, all of the... Where, they say the next hype is going to be. That's where MTT wants to focus on and bring you not only good gains, but specific coins that can possibly do the next 10x, 20x, 50x within the next cycles. Now we know in the current market environment, we are in a downward cycle. So the, ups, the upswing cycles are a lot shorter than the, you would generally have in a longer term trend in an up cycle, but we still get these relief rallies where we can take advantage of them. And as you will see, I'll show you at the end. So this is a sort of report that you're going to get on a weekly basis, your report, and then you've got your telegram channel where members are in, where we can keep you updated of what's happening, all the latest news that's going on in the market. And then one of the top trades that we've had recently was Atom. Atom was a buy that we've given out to the members and the community back 
just before in July. And it's been one of the top performing coins in cryptos over the last few months. So would you have had any exposure to this setup as one of the coins in our report? This coin went up just recently, uh, even, even actually where it is currently trading at $16. So it is absolutely crushing it. This coin is doing so well. It's up 161%. Now, the members do know what is the next move in this coin, what we are expecting. There's specific either re-entries but as you can see, <laughs> Atom really just shakes off everything about the market. If Bitcoin dips 5%, it will maybe come down. But when it stabilizes, it will just shoot up next. So we use different kind of analysis from Ichimoku, um, different oscillators that we use. Uh, we look at time cycles, pivots, so many factors that can indicate where specific events can happen in the market where we need to take more, be more alert or aware of than others. So if we look at the S&P, and I'm just going to base this quickly on this scenario, is that there's the 26th of September. That is a seven-year cycle that we've been in. So every seven years, there's a cycle that comes to an end, and we are now entering into the next seven-year cycle. So we are coming into a downtrend currently, holistically for Bitcoin. But looking at cycles and all these dates, and these are the horizontals, obviously resistance, key resistance levels. But these vertical lines are key algorithmic and pivotal dates and also fundamental dates on a macro environment. And you'll see generally around these times, it's when you need to take notice of. Now, we also know there's the halvening coming into effect. And generally, I've got a pretty good idea of where the final, final bottom for this entire market is going to be. And now when we go into the next seven year cycle, that's where you need to bring in your friends and your family because it's where you're going to be able to make generational wealth. Even though the, the market is now choppy, it's up, it's down, it's, it's tricky to trade. You need to know where to buy, where to sell. And we give you those tools, but the next cycle is going to come. So ignore where you are currently. If, if, if you don't want to trade, like for example, today is a, Possibly it's a, it's a down day, it's a volatile market, it's the interest rate hike is, is coming up, it, there may be a lot of volatility. Sometimes it's a good thing also just to not trade, but to be part of a community that gives you these updates and when the cycle bottoms out and you're going to be with a group of people that can support you going into the next trend. For the next seven years, I would rather want to be part of something than try and figure this out on my own. Because figuring it out on your own or listen to influencers and then there's 20 and 30 and 50 influencers who you listen to and everyone's, everyone's got their own agenda. It can become tricky, especially in such a volatile market when you have upswings all of a sudden of a 21% break to the upside. And now from the highs again, we retrace back fully, it's back to 20%. So if you look at just a quick retracement level, Bitcoin came right on the support. That's why I had there, that was the final support. And once we broke below, you can see where we're tracking right now. So we broke through various key resistance and support or broke through support levels for Bitcoin currently. And I do think the next level is at least at 18 towards 17,600. But on a larger scale, I still have lower targets as well. And this is all playing out as it's part of the seven year cycle where we are in at the moment. The Shemitah year, all of those that's, that's playing out. It's, it's been there in the past since the 1900s. It's going to be there in the future still over the next 50 years. 
And these cycles will continue. It's just how are we going to react when these cycles play out? So that's what I'm going to touch on today. Tomorrow we can touch on a little bit more, maybe on a, if Morris is here on the algorithmic side of Bitcoin, and maybe I can zoom into the pre-halvening of Bitcoin as well. But I do see us bottoming out and there's a short squeeze building also in the market. A lot more longs building in the, or shorts building in the market. Well, I do expect a relief rally to the upside, but I do not think it's going to be prolonged just yet. Just yet. Until this 20,400, there's that level, that line in the sand there. Prior, it was also a lot of resistance back here. Until that got broken, 20,400, we saw this impulse to the upside. So 20,400 is a position that we have to cross before we can say there's going to be a sustained upside. And there's specific targets that I've got for, for Bitcoin also. If we cannot cross above that, there's lower targets in sight as well. But for us as MTT members, it doesn't matter because we've got our stop losses in place. We know where the market is going to trade. And if a position gets hit and you stopped out, we just go into the next critical support level phase where we will take it up to the upside again. So in a perfect environment, this is where you can take advantage of those bull or the bear coins. Uh, so the bear coin, if anyone's familiar with that on Binance, that's possibilities to short these rallies. But for today, for today I'm going to show you this trade as a trade that I've posted over the weekend to our MTT group, which is Chili's. Chili's is in a solid uptrend environment also at the moment. It's one similar to an uh, atom where you can see any small pullbacks. When Bitcoin finds a balance, where I do reckon it's going to find some uh, support recent or, or within the next day or two, all depends also of what the interest rate hike is going to be on Wednesday. Very, very important date for the global economy and also for cryptos. And if it comes in at a 0.75 basis, I do reckon it may be good news where the, not majority, but some people are already expecting a 1% interest rate hike. If they do it, it, it will spin the global uh, economy into a depression, perhaps. So it's, it's a very crucial fine line where we are at the moment with the Fed and everything what's going on in cryptos. But irrespective, Algo, you still get strong coins in these volatile markets. And Chili's is now one that is broken to the upside. It had the first break right there. And it had the impulses to the upside already. And I was waiting for this consolidation phase to play out. So that was, if you were an MTT member, exactly where they got the alert at about 19 cents. And now you up already uh, where it was up to 24 cents. It came close to our third target, but you can easily put up a trade like this already into your stop loss, or you can put it in profit and you just leave it. It's a very easy, simple trade that you can just leave and you will be able to make your profits from that. And this is a relatively good profit, take profit area at 55%. Uh, there was your stop loss and you can just now move up your stop loss just to make sure that you come into or remain in profit and you don't give any profits back. Because in a market like it is currently, you don't want to give any money back to the market. I'll rather take now a 15% a profit, for example, then give everything back to the market. So chop environments do take the profits. When we have these key target levels, it's say, for example, you buy $1,000, you take 20%, 20%, 20%, 20 and you leave the rest for the last target. And you exited a, a fully functional trade setup where you took advantage of, and then we look for the next trade where we're going to buy in at the bottom again. So we do our best to find the bottom areas 
and where you can sell the higher ranges. You don't always need to find the top uh, with the Atom, for example, people that held it 161%, it's fantastic. But if you had 120%, I'm sure you would have been happy as well. <laughs> so this is this is the trade setup for the day on Chili's. Um, if we want to just quickly show you, if you go to BitcoinTaf.com, anyone in, who invited you, you here today, use their uh, affiliate link, build this business of Bitcoin Taf, the the website is built in that way where you can benefit in inviting others to this and also grow your own personal business as a whole so when you go to products you will have mtt as a product that you can pay with so you can choose your membership three months six months 12 months we've also got a lifetime where you pay five thousand dollars and after a year we will give you two and a half thousand dollars back of that money and you a lifetime member but if you want to take advantage of combo specials you can go to filter and we've got two great packages at the moment there's one for the elliott wave during difficult trading environments it's always good to have some education as well so you can get the mtt crypto reports plus the elliott wave it's an elliott wave course that boris did $480 for six months, or you can go with the first one, MTT and long-term trades. So if you click on that one, it's actually got the best value for money where you can get the medium-term trades and long-term trade reports as well. So you, on the 12-month package, you save $160 and you get Marius's webinar on a Thursday uh, with his two, three reports plus the MTT reports and webinars so that's really one of the best combo packages on the system that we have available to offer o overall crypto is in uh, cycles that comes around or opportunities in your life where you will be able to make generational wealth if some markets are sometimes down and you feel despondent that's exactly how these things are programmed to make you lose hope and faith. And we uh, as a community that want to help you and build you up and tell you or can see a little bit a glimpse in the future of what is going to happen. So rather be part of that sort of community than sitting and trying to figure it out yourself. Being part of with the MTT, a long-term trades report, Morris also has amazing questions and a community where people ask very good questions. It's something to take advantage of during these times, specifically in difficult markets. In, in good markets, it's always easy buy any coin and you go up and you're a, <laughs> you're a magician. But it's, it comes down to the hard, difficult markets, uh, how you can help and be there for your community as well. So bring your friends and family tomorrow to the last call. We've got another coin pick also. It's actually already lined up. I, I just cannot share it with you all today. I want to, but I can't. <laughs> so be on the call tomorrow. Join us for another one. And then I see there's a, a question and a hand raise. Let's just get some, to some questions. Yes, Genevieve, yes, you can unmute you. yourself. Good morning, guys. How are you all doing? Yes, good in yourself. Awesome. Thank you very much. Just on Chili's, I wanted to just check with you. Are we waiting for it to come back down into the buy zone now? And if so, you know, how long yes. do you think that might take? Is that a, like a couple of days? So what I'm looking for is this zone right here. Let's just delete. I see there's double lines. So on Chili's, I'm looking for this line right there for a retest. If we can get above or settle yeah at 21 cents that would be a really good re-entry level for me and even though if it stabs a little bit lower towards this 20 cents level where there was the breakout so just above the next stop loss around 20 cents but i'm looking at this level first you can see there was resistance if we zoom in a little bit resistance resistance we tested it now support and if we can base this one off the next support area right there, there we go. 
that will be a re-entry level for me where I will just add to some positions. So I've already got into here. I'll add to some positions and I'll leave it for the rest uh, to go a little bit higher. But also we need to have Bitcoin settle around these levels. This 18.4 is it's a lot of pressure on Bitcoin at the moment. But any little bounce, you will see Chili's is, is sort of shaking it off. Any little bounce in Bitcoin, you will see this Excel quite nicely to the upside. So that's the level I'm looking at at the moment, Genevieve. Perfect. Thanks, Ines. Thanks. No problem. All right. Great. So thanks, everyone, for joining on this Monday morning. Now I'll get, go get back to work <laughs> and we'll see you on the call tomorrow morning. Same time. See you all. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Bye.